Alright, you are going to be taking your cover for your visual journal. You've already put the spine on here by using the bone folder to put creases. You folded it so that you have the spine. You're going to make it mountain side up so you can see the duct tape. And then this technique, we're going to actually blow bubbles that has paint in it to actually paint the outside of this. And this technique, you're going to need a straw. You're going to need the bubble paints, which we will have for you. And then you're going to need a glass of water. And what you're going to do is you're going to take and start blowing the bubbles. Put your hand over so that it doesn't pop back up in your face. You want the bubbles to come up. You're going to take your journal. And basically what you want to do is do what I call catch the bubbles. Okay, and it's really fun because you can um, kind of create it, put it on there, and it's going to take a while. The bubbles will pop. That's okay. When you're ready to change to a different color, rinse your straw out in a different color. Now I'm going to switch and rotate, and I'm going to work with purple. Then I'm going to take, steal some of the purple bubbles, move it this way a little bit, capture some bubbles, okay, see how that's working? Beautiful, looks cool. Okay, now again remember to rinse your straw. You keep the straw you have. You rinse it so that you can go on to another color. Put this to the side here. And you take again. And the bubbles dry really fast. And the bubbles actually create a pattern on the outside of your journal. You can do just a little bit. Again, rinse your straw when you want to change colors. Make sure that you're doing this on top of newspaper on your table because the bubbles do tend to make um, messes. Please remember to keep your hand here and it's just for your safety because it does have soap in it. You want to blow out with the straw. Don't suck it in because if you do it's just like trying to drink soap. It's gross. So make sure that you're blowing out but don't blow with a lot of force or you're going to splatter it all over the place. Chances are you're going to be done. All right, so when you get this the way you like it, you can you really can place the bubbles where you want it. Just depends on how you you fold and bend your paper. And there you go. Then you're going to put it on the drying rack. Make sure you've got your name and class code on the inside, and then you are done with the outside cover. Again, you can take a paper towel and wipe the middle or you can wait till it's dry completely and then just wipe it off when you're done.